Hello, my name is Lisa, and I'm a librarian at the City of Fairfax Regional Library, a branch of the Fairfax County Public Library. Do you have home movies on VHS, or photos, or slides, or negatives that you would like to preserve and share with others? If so, then the Library's Memory Depot station is for you. It's a collection of equipment where you can transfer your VHS or VHSC tapes, photos, slides, negatives, documents, three and a half inch floppy disks, audio cassettes, and vinyl records to a digital format. There are six branches that have Memory Depot equipment. They are Centerville, City of Fairfax, George Mason Regional, Homebick, Reston, and Sherwood. Because this is a do-it-yourself project, we recommend that you attend an orientation before making a reservation to transfer your materials. You will find virtual orientations for the VHS transfer station and the Epson scanner for photo slides, negatives, and documents on the library's Memory Depot research guide, which I will show you in a few moments. The Memory Depot Research Guide has everything you need to know in order to work on your project. So from the library's website at fairfaxcounty.gov library, you can click on the magnifying glass and then just enter a search for Memory Depot. And then press enter. And the first result should bring you to the overview page. Or if you're at the library site, you can just scroll down to where it says Research Center and click on the plus sign and then click on Research Guides and scroll down to Memory Depot. The overview page will tell you what materials that you can digitize. Currently that would be photos, negatives and slides, scrapbooks and other documents, VHS and VHSC video cassettes, audio cassettes, vinyl albums, and three and a half inch floppy disks. You will need to bring something with you on which you can save your transferred materials because anything that is worked on on our computers would be automatically deleted when your session ends. So you can bring a USB flash drive or an external hard drive that you can connect to the PC with your USB cable. Just be aware that if the security software on our computer detects that your device has some software that could be used to bypass our security settings, then our computer will not recognize your device. So in order to get started, click on the Getting Started tab. And we recommend that you sign up for an orientation. Currently, we have virtual orientations for the VHS transfer station and the scanner station, which you can find in the Virtual Orientations tab. When you're ready to make a reservation, go ahead and click on the Reservations tab. I can choose which branch I want to go to. So I'll click on the city of Fairfax and I'll scroll down and that will show the calendar. We allow reservations up to 30 days in advance. I can either go to a specific date or I can click on the next available. So I'll click on next available and that's going to take me to June 12th. If I want to work on my photos, slides, negatives, or documents, I'll look at the times available for the photo scanning station. I'd like to come in at 10 o'clock. It's automatically going to block up to as much as three hours of time as it can give you. If I don't want that much time, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and select a different ending time. So I'll say 1130. And then I can click on the button to submit my times. I'll confirm that yes, I do want the City of Fairfax photo scanning station on June 12th from 10 o'clock until 1130. And then I'll scroll down and read the terms and conditions. Once I've done that, I will click on continue and fill out the form to finish the booking. Then I'll click on submit my booking and I will get a confirmation with an email confirmation also. I can click on the link to make another booking for a different time. You are allowed up to two bookings in one week, but you can't sign up for two stations at the same time. The Logging On and Off tab 
will tell you what you need to do when you come into the library. So you'll start at the staff desk and just let us know what you've registered for. If you've signed up for the VHS transfer station or the Epson scanner, then staff will log you onto those computers. Take a look at the personal session manager box to say how much time you have remaining. And if you would like to step away from the computer, click on the image of the clock and select lock PC in the personal session manager box. That will prevent anybody else from trying to use the computer when you're not sitting there. When you come back, just sign in with the number and password on the guest pass that we'll give you to unlock the computer. You will get 40 minute, 20 minute, and 10 minute warnings as your session draws to a close. Wrap up your project because we cannot extend your time. Remember, no files are kept on the computer when your session ends. If you click on the Equipment tab, you will find instructions for all of the equipment that we have in the Memory Depot. The Epson Scanner instructions includes instructions for photos, slides, negatives, documents, taking care of the scanner, details about the settings, and recommendations. You will also find instructions for the VHS video cassettes, which includes information on the Windows Media Player and tips, instructions for the audio cassette transfer, the floppy disk, and the vinyl record player. Please take a look at the accessories for equipment. That will tell you which accessories are available at each branch. Please review the acceptable use statement. The purpose of the Memory Depot is to convert legacy video and photos to current formats for personal, non-commercial purposes. You may not use Memory Depot to reproduce any content if that reproduction would infringe on the property rights of any other party. The library assumes no responsibility and you assume all risk regarding the determination of whether your reproduction of material may, might infringe on the property rights of another. Using Memory Depot is self-service and at your own risk. The library is not responsible for any damages that might occur to your equipment or materials in connection with your use of library equipment. I hope this video has inspired you to gather your past memories to share with present and future generations. Please check on the availability of in-person orientations or watch the virtual orientations for the VHS transfer station and the Epson scanner. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you at the Fairfax County Public Library's Memory Depot.